talk about uh, restoring the standard. It's a, it's a huge topic, but uh, something that's really close to my heart and uh, something that's really, really, really vital and really, really important. Uh, the easiest story to explain this, I'm going to do a really quick version, is, uh, is the prodigal son. Uh, listen, in the Bible, there's this amazing, amazing story uh, about a son who asks for his inheritance early. Uh, the dad's super generous and gives him all of his inheritance. He takes that inheritance, he goes out, he parties, has a good time. He ends up, uh, you know, down and out, skid row, if you will. Uh, the Bible actually says he's in a pig pen hanging out with pigs. It's, you know, he's eating pig food because he's wasting all of his money on doing really stupid, jacked up stuff. And so uh, he gets this idea. He, he understands that, man, even the servants that, that live in my father's house are doing better than me. And I got a bed to sleep in. They're eating better than me. Their life is better than mine. So his bright idea is, I'm going to go home, I'm going to ask my dad if he just make me a servant in his house. I, I probably lost the son thing uh, a while ago. I'm just going to be a servant. And so he gets up, uh, goes out to, uh, to go see his father back home. And the Bible says something incredible. The Bible says the father sees him from way far off, and the father runs out to meet him and gives him a hug and gives him a kiss and, and loves him. And then uh, tells everybody, hey, uh, get him all the best stuff. We're going to throw a party because my son that was once lost is now found. And uh, it's this beautiful picture of someone who screwed up royally coming back to be with a father. Here's what I want to say uh, about, about restoring the standard is, uh, man, I get this visual in my head of this amazing young man, and I don't know why, but in my head I think he's young because I'm only just, you know, young knuckleheads for the most part spend that amount of money and do stupid stuff. But So in my head he's this young guy running back to his dad. He's dirty, he's filthy, he just hung out in the pig pen, and his dad who's who's this rich, wealthy man, loves him and hugs him and kisses just the dirt on his face. And man, he's smelly, he's gross. They have this big party for him. And uh, in that moment, his dad actually actually forgives him and, and tells everybody, hey, this uh, my son's back. And that's a beautiful picture of what, of what Christ really does for us. Here's what you gotta know about that. Listen, no matter what you've done, no matter where you're at, no matter what inheritance you had, no matter what purity issues you got, no matter what sin you have in your life, no matter what the issue is, from the bottom of my heart, man, God can forgive you and God wants to restore you. But here's what your requirement is as a son. You got to get your behind out of that pig pen. That's just the bottom line. You got to get up. You got to go, I'm a knucklehead. I've done really dumb stuff and I got to run back to my daddy, that being the father. You got to do that. But once you do that and you ask forgiveness and you repent, man, you're restored. God's throwing a party for you. And now it's your job to walk it out every day. I don't think the prodigal son uh, went to his dad and the day after the party felt awesome. I think there was probably a little bit of shame left there. There's a little bit of stuff going on inside. You know, he had to look at his family, his, his, his brother who lived in the house. He had to look at his dad's servants knowing he made a big mistake. Uh, listen, you're going to potentially wake up with that deal going on inside you. Uh, listen, shame's not of God. That dad never looked at his son in shame. Uh, you're not to carry that. So once you get forgiveness, you got to walk that out every day and go, listen, I'm not going to carry shame. I'm not going to carry guilt. And I'm not going to run back to the pig pen. Listen, if you can do that, here's what's going to happen. Just like in that Bible, uh, the dad says, hey, I want you to put great sandals on his feet. I want you to get the best robe. He got, a, he got a signet ring, which signifies, listen, he's back in the family. I need you to know that you're back in the family. If you're struggling right now with any issue in your life, listen, as soon as the video is over, we don't have time to do it now, but take time. Get on your knees. Ask the Lord to forgive you. And here's what happens. You're back in the family. You're back in. Don't go back to that old stuff. Change your habits. Change your ways. And man, God's got something great for you. And you never have to look back on your life in shame because God doesn't do that for you. Hey, be blessed as you go. And, uh, and man, do amazing stuff for God and, and love Him so well.